<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? No, I did it wrong. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today, we're going to be talking about this here Inokin Proton Mini. This has been out for uh, quite a long time now already. I've been using my blue Inokin Proton Mini since about about the middle of November with my soon to be released RTA. That's all you get. And Inokin has kind of released a little banger here. I opened the blue one right away just because blue, contrary to what my name is, blue is actually my favorite color. But today we're gonna be making all the guys happy and opening up the matte black, black on black Inokin Proton Mini. The mod, the Ajax tank, the spare glass, the spare coil head. Inokin tends to get a little uh, apple with their packaging, you know, which it's whatever, it's fine. Accessories as well, including, you know, instruction manual, a USB cord, spare O-rings. Fire button's right here on this side of the mod. In fact, there's this little sort of graphics that are on here that shows you, hey, the fire button's over here. Hey, the menu's right here. You hit three times. But first things first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Inokin Proton Mini right out of the box kind of gets extra brownie points for letting you peel off three of those deliciously, oddly satisfying plastics. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. And it turns on in a can and there's your display. It's got a very very similar display In fact, I think it has the exact same display from the full-size proton In fact, you press this little joystick down here three times one two three that gets you into your menu system You adjust your coil. There's a full custom TCR suite on there as well TCR curve bypass. There's the settings you can change all the colors. Oh, no, this is the memory function Inokin products have always come with a lot of bells and whistles most of which I don't use, I don't ever use the memory settings, I don't ever use the bypass, I don't ever use the curve, I don't ever use the temperature control. I'm a simple straight wattage vapor, just give it to me simple. And they put a nice little grim green head screensaver on there for me. Look at that. As I've said a bunch in the past, Inokin kind of likes to do things just a little bit different than everybody else. It's a three on, three off on the mod rather than a five on, five off like, I don't know, most every other mod out there. And for the last few years, they've been using their own sort of unique drop-in coil head design, which the new Falcon 2 kind of borrowed. You unscrew the bottom and your coil head just pulls straight out. It has that inner sort of like, you know, cage so that if this has some liquid in it, you can still replace your coil head in and out without spilling your liquid everywhere. Kind of like that new Falcon 2 tank that just came out. I'm just going to prime up this coil head a little bit. Just want to put a little bit of liquid right down the center. As always, there's no real need to go super crazy on these. Now this is the 0.16 coil head. There's a 0.16 and a 0.35 coil head that is that Plex 3D mesh. And it seems like every sub ohm tank manufacturer out of China is trying to reinvent mesh. Normal mesh isn't isn't good enough, so now it has to either be, oh, our mesh is in a diamond pattern, or oh, our mesh is like in a cone shape, and this mesh, this mesh just looks angry. It's these like jagged pointy rectangles, and, and it just looks angry. Like it's, it, it looks like this mesh wants to fight me. Coil head goes back inside, and then on your bottom here is where you're gonna have your AFC. Close it off, open it up. Chances are I'm gonna run this full open. The Ajax tank is 24 millimeters and it's got a slidey top like this and it's not just a slidey top it's not just resistance that holds that in there's a distinct click on the one side and a distinct click when it's closed as well and that's something I just really like I find it very satisfying it feels secure when you close this you, you hear that little click and you go okay well now it's closed closed five mil juice capacity on this tank with the bubble glass which is great your liquid and your air go in and out of the same hole so you kind of just have to be, I don't know, a little bit careful. On my previous blue Ajax tank, I really had no issues with it clogging or, you know, getting getting liquid stuck up here. Sometimes on older tanks when they utilize this one air, you know, one hole for your liquid to go in and your air to come out, it would just get clogged. You could plug it with liquid and it would just, you know, overflow all over the place if you tried to fill it up too fast. And saying it out loud, that's really kind of a weird minor gripe, but the air needs somewhere to go as well. 
well. And that might look like an 810 drip tip, but is actually just a little 510 drip tip in there. The one thing I do really like about these Inakin coil heads is they don't need a crap ton of wattage to be put through them. This is the 0.16 ohm coil, and I'm only running it at 60 watts. Very nice, very, very flavorful tank. I don't know if it's because it's getting spitty in my mouth. I don't know if it's because of this angry looking 3D Plex mesh, but the flavor on this Ajax tank is tip top. I might even go so far as to say it has better flavor than that Falcon 2 that I talked about last week. Yeah, I said it. Just an incredibly enjoyable experience. Truly and honestly, this is a really nice sub-ohm tank. I wish, with all of my wishes, are we gonna get into gripes now? Okay, let's get into some gripes. First things first, the airflow on the tank kind of sucks. It just doesn't feel very nice. It's not very smooth. I would even go so far as to call it rough, sharp, or turbulent. Not to mention a little on the loud side. Gets even louder when you turn the airflow down. And the only way to control that volume is to do what I do, which is turn the wattage down a little bit and just take a slower drag. It doesn't have to be like you're pulling for a cloud comp every single time. You don't have to use the full force of your lungs. You can just chill out a little bit. Another gripe I have with this mod that there's really no way to get around, it's just it's just heavy. And that might sound like a dumb gripe, but it's heavier. It's heavier than you think a mod of this size would be. It's clearly zinc. They've clearly put a pretty big battery, 3,400 milliamp hour battery in there, and it all kind of adds to the weightiness of it. At first, I really, really liked the weightiness. I thought, oh, that's so cool. It's such a heavy, sturdy little guy, you know. But it's kind of annoying to carry around. This has been my leave the house device. I love taking it with me, and every time I put it in my pockets, it's just like, Whoa. All right, that might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's heavy. I would have liked, I don't know, somewhere in between. You know, this is one of those things that everybody gripes about. Oh, well, I was expecting this mod to be heavier. Oh, I was expecting this mod to be lighter. For me, it's just, it's a little on the weighty side, which is a real small nitpick. And the black and the matte black, I mean, this looks really slick. It feels like a real slick piece of tech. And this slightly little secret hidden clicky clicky fire button is just a clicky, wonderful fire button. Now be careful when you're looking at the Inakin Protons. On the back of some of them, there's just these weird graphics that kind of don't make any sense to me. The blue one has this sort of galaxy on it, which I actually thought was kind of cool. The other black one with the green has this big, weird Ed Hardy looking skull on the back. The other colors honestly look really cool. The white and peach colored one, I'm sure it's supposed to be for girls, but fuck it, I think that that's the coolest looking one. Overall, I really think this is a banger. There's not much I don't enjoy about it. And most importantly, what I enjoy most about it is the overall vape experience. You could pick up this kit with a bottle of liquid and have everything you need to vape. I think if you're a pod user or you're a jewel user and you kind of see a sub ohm tank and you're maybe a little bit curious about it, boosh, th this is the kit you should be picking up. If you want to get introduced to a little bit more of a lung style inhale, you want to blow a little bit bigger bigger of a cloud, Proton Mini. Proton Mini for sure. I'm using just a low three milligram liquid nicotine in this. You could use whatever you want in this, but I would highly, highly suggest you avoid high nicotine salts with this kind of vape. It's just going to destroy you. It's going to be incredibly harsh and I, and I would really advise against it. Yeah, boosh, you can even change it to green. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out something like the Inakin Proton Mini? Eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, you can kind of find this anywhere between like 60 and 65 bucks. And you're honestly getting a lot for your money. Like I said, all you would need is a bottle of liquid and you can vape right away. Love it. Love you, stupid little thing. Now, if we were to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they came and take everything I have and I have literally zero vape products, is the Proton Mini something I would seek out and buy right away? 
Yes, absolutely. For 70 bucks, I can get this kit, a bottle of liquid, and be able to vape right away. Not just vape right away, but get a really deliciously satisfying vape right away. Wow, it's just, uh, it's just really fucking enjoyable. Anyway, that's my two cents on the Inokin Proton Mini coming fairly highly recommended, man. Links are not allowed in the description anymore, thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to go use your Google Foo, but thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And no matter what any crooked politician tells you, no matter what Bloomberg tells you, absolutely, you guys, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>